Happy Friday morning, everybody, wherever you're at in the world. Just walking to work now, and it's uh, Friday's my sh my short route day, so I only work two or three hours, and then then I'm then I'm off and have the rest of Friday off and the weekend off. It's cold again this morning, about 34 degrees. So it's it's just chilly. It's like kind of kind of foggy, foggy and overcast. But uh, looks like it's getting ready to clear up and be another sunny day. I think uh, after work, uh, I might go over to the local card shop. I've never checked out yet since I've lived here in town, but it's uh, it's got. I thought I'd check it out. We got a couple of them here in town, and. Uh, Thinking about thinking about picking up uh, some magic cards, kill time, and uh, also it'll give me something to do. You know, I've always played uh, card games online and games like that, like back in the day. But since I don't have a computer and I really don't play games a lot on my phone. I mean, every now and then there's a few that I play, but not like I used to do uh, PC gaming before I before I sold everything. But yeah, I might go check some Magic cards out. I've always I've always known how to play the game forever, and I've kind of collected it off and on. But uh, yeah, it'd be cool to get out of the house and maybe do some Friday Night Magic and and. Uh, Play some cards, and my phone is due for due for an upgrade. I got my phone's actually almost three years three years old now. I think I was saying that in another video, so I might head over to T-Mobile shop there and see what's available. So it could be a phone upgrade incoming pretty soon here. But, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I really don't want my bill to increase at all. Pretty comfortable with what I have right now. It still works. It still works great. Uh, except my uh, my battery just drains. Drains to like 50% in no time. That's just on like an idle phone. Basically, I mean, well, yeah, I run YouTube and like uploading... Even uploading a video like drains the drains the battery super quick. It's, and it's funny, it's always that way. You know, when you first upgrade your phone, and you've got that new shiny new shiny item, you'll notice the battery lasts lasts for a long time. It like never never seems to go down. It takes like five hours to get to ninety five percent. Oh, maybe not. It seems like that whenever I upgrade mine, but yeah, like I was fully charged this morning and fully charged this morning and I uh, unplugged my phone, made breakfast. So it's only, it's only been, to, been unplugged for hmm, Maybe almost two hours now, and I'm already down to 81%. <laughs> and I usually run my phone on a super dim screen, like very low brightness, and have everything turned off I possibly can. I don't know. I think my, my phone's just old. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll do those, probably do those two things after work if it's nice out. And uh, yeah, this morning I was ch checking my daily crypto prices like usual seeing where things are at and coin market cap right now is still glitching out pretty hard where if you're on the home screen like where you can see all the prices it's like prices are normal you know bitcoins up two and a half percent ethereum four percent etc but if you click on the coin and you go in to see just that price that percentage all of the percentages are up hundreds of percent. 
<laughs> right now and it's still doing it. It hasn't fix, fixed itself yet. It's like some kind of secret 2021 bull run going on when, you know, like XRP is up 350%, but the coin's still t 62, 62 cents, I think, right now. It's funny. It just made me laugh. Like, I know it's fake. I know it's just a glitch. But, uh, you know, I've used coin market cap forever. I'm just comfortable with it, but it definitely, they definitely could clean it up and make it ref reflect uh, analytics and numbers just a little bit better. Like, I don't care about the glitches so much. Like, it happens. It's not perfect. What I, what I want the most, I think, is uh, for, for all the coins to actually reflect to actually reflect a clear circulating supply of tokens, you know, like so whatever the correct amount is, like however much XRP is left Jasmine, internet computer or whatever well, internet computer you can go to the dashboard and you can see all the analytics, it does a really good job of that so I think ICP is about right on right on on the dashboard because you go to look and with that there's 459 million or so tokens left and that updates pretty regularly but I also like knowing how many holders there are of a coin like to easily look at the number without having to go to 100,000 different websites and explorers and you know to find out exactly how many addresses there could be. I just want to look at one number really quick. Coin market cap says for Jasmine there is 63,000 as of this morning, 63,000 wallets or holders. I mean, think about that. Like that's that's nobody. That's that's I mean, think about all the people that are in crypto, which is most most, you know, only 0.1% of the world overall, the people that are in the crypto and actually have the tokens or even use something like Coinbase or Crypto.com and then each specific crypto, there's only X amount of holders as well that's crazy, like, that's why it's, it's awesome great to find a project and get in really early as early as you can before the masses wake up and find out what's going on there's you know so if there really is only 63,000 holders for Jasby that's insane that's just like a small little small little chess club of people and there's only 50 50 billion to total tokens available and that's not counting all the companies in the future. And when the actual ecosystem, the Jasmine chain gets finished being built, it actually comes online. And all the token lockups that are going to happen because of all the companies that want to use the token as well. Like that, even, that hasn't even barely started yet. It's crazy to think about. So at two cents, at two cents, that's an insane, insane steal. That's why, that's how investors make money in my opinion. I mean, it's really, really easy to see. You know, you get in and you discover something, whatever sector it's in, you invest or you buy it before it before the world finds out about it. And by the time the world wakes up, you've already been in it for, for years and have made all kinds of money potentially. So yeah, so I mean, Jasmine's been around a little while. I mean, the company has, but uh, but not the token. The token's still pretty new. So at two cents, like, very easy to buy, very easy to collect and accumulate right now. In, in comparison, comparison, internet computer and XRP feel like they're hundreds of dollars <laughs> in comparison to old Jasmine at two pennies two pennies a token you can't beat it 
I wish I could wish I could buy even more today. But uh, but I but I can't. I'm kind of running low on funds already. So just have to be patient. I'll buy a little pinch in a couple weeks when I get my next check and stack every two weeks. So there's no rush. I think it's going to stay at two cents for a while. But uh, you know who knows. Who knows in crypto what's going to happen and the market could take off overnight or crash in two hours. Super, super volatile. Volatile, as they say. So being in crypto, you always have to be ready for that. Not panic when it goes red. And, you know, because it'll bounce right back. It usually does. But who knows? Who knows from day, day to day what's going to happen? It was green. Park was mostly green this morning. And then, you know, who knows? By the time I get off work, it could be all in the red again. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So I'm just walking to work. And I thought also, too, there was another project that popped up on another channel I watch. He does... Uh, Pretty excellent crypto coverage. Uh, shout out to uh, Two Bit Two Bit Crypto. If you guys have ever seen his channel or watched his channel, he does a pretty good job. And he was going over a token this morning that I had no idea about. You know, <laughs> I don't know where to where to find this stuff unless uh, the community shares information. Like that's how we all learn. I think it's two heads are better than one kind of thing, but. The project he was talking about is being built built out on the Matic network, so the Polygon token, uh, or the Matic token. I don't own, own any of that. I don't really know much about Matic, so I don't buy it. You know, I haven't done enough research on it. But uh, it's using the Matic network, and they're working with uh, the XRP, XRPL ledger. So this new token is being built on the ledger, and it's called the CTF, CTF token, and uh, stands for a crypto traded fund, crypto traded fund, and it's sitting at about thirty cents, thirty cents right now. When I checked it this morning, so I didn't I didn't buy any of it uh, because I primarily I use uh, Coinbase, Coinbase for everything. Or for to buy everything, um, but it's amazing. It's amazing on Coinbase. It gets frustrating sometimes because they are very slow at listing tokens of like every sector, and then the stuff that they do list, I've never even heard of before. It's like why, why, why that instead of some meme token that's taken off seventy percent. You know, but yeah, Coinbase is frustrating because it's like pretty much almost anything you'd want to buy or hold just a little bit of Coinbase doesn't even have it. Or you can look it up, but you can't buy it. So this uh, CTF token is only available using a, a swap, like Unis Uniswap, Pancake Swap, and it's too many too many steps for me. You know, if it's if it's on if it's not on Coinbase and easy to just click and buy, I'm probably probably not gonna probably not gonna buy it. But it sounds like a cool little project. But I've never used a swap before. I don't trust them. I don't know how to operate wallets very efficiently, and I've actually never used a swap before. So it seems very complex and difficult to me. But uh, maybe it's easy. Maybe it's easy. I'm not sure. But uh, if you guys have any insight into that, let me know because I've never never messed around with that before and it'd be cool to kind of get into some of these coins a little, a little sooner, but I don't understand all the steps it takes to, you know, use something like Uniswap and swap a coin and gas fees. Like, I understand what gas fees are, but... Just, uh, it's uncomfortable because I don't know.
much about it. Sorry for that delay. I had to walk around someone on the sidewalk. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't understand the swaps very much. I'm comfortable using Coinbase. And, uh, yeah, so that, I saw that this morning. It's called the CTF token. If you guys want to check that out or are curious about it, I don't know anything about it other than it's uh, a new project, a new token that's being built on the XRPL, which is cool because I, you know, I understand what the XRPL ledger is. I've done plenty of research on Ripple, of course, since I hold XRP, but I don't know. I'm happy with my my top three top three holdings, but I'm always open-minded and willing to uh, look at other projects and other tokens. And, uh, you know, I'm not a, you know, my favorite's XRP, of course, but I'm not a maxi, like I said before. There isn't, there isn't, you know, one token to rule them all. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, if you hold internet computer, at all or like the like the project you've probably seen Jerry Banfield Jerry Banfield crypto his channel and uh, yeah he's definitely definitely knowledgeable like I watch all of his videos and uh, I think he puts out really good content I think he is honest and he wants to help people and He's, you know, I respect him because he's been in the game. He's been in crypto for, for a decade, you know? So it's always interesting. You know, he, he helped he helped uh, educate me and uh, definitely increased my knowledge about Internet Computer because there was a short time ago where I didn't even understand what that was. And even after I did research, I'm like, it's upgrading upgrading the internet to web3 like why I don't I don't understand so anyway that's when it's always helpful to uh, listen listen to other ask questions you know do your research like you say and uh, that's that's how that's how you learn by asking questions and spending time to investigate I think now internet computer is a great project it's awesome it's going to go far because it can do a lot of a lot of stuff, and it's solving again real world problems. It's solving issues that we have with our current Web two uh, infrastructure, the current internet we use every day, and uh, that's what uh, ICP is trying to do as a project is upgrade our upgrade the internet experience. So it's got some pretty cool projects going on there. But I was just going back to uh, Jerry Banfield. I'm definitely subscribed to him and love watching his videos. He uh, he definitely he definitely is an ICP Maxi. <laughs> he uh, he uh, he's done other coin reviews and and uh, you know explains himself very well. But it's almost like at the end of the day. Where it's like if it's not, if it's not if it's not built on the blockchain, if it's not ICP, then it's garbage, and you shouldn't worry about it, and it's all going to zero, and it's not going to be around. So basically, the message is, ICP is the only one. Oh, and maybe Bitcoin and Ethereum because they're valuable now, and they were the first, and every other project, I guess, can just. Uh, pack their bags and turn the lights off and close the company down and go home you know if it's not if it's not built on the blockchain if it's not built on the blockchain or it's not an internet computer then uh then it's worthless don't even bother <laughs> but uh i don't see it that way i disagree with that that's pretty close-minded uh you know even if you have done your research I know a lot about internet computer now, more than I did, and it isn't, it isn't the only, you know, the only thing under the sun. It is very good technology, 
it is very fast and everything else it does, but there's XRP, there's Jasmine, there's other tokens I'll bring up in a future video that are all in a different sector, they're all do doing different things to help and improve the world. And I just feel like internet computer is not the be all end all of everything. But if, but if you love a coin and, and you know, he loves ICP, then awesome. Good. Keep talking about it. Keep educating others. And, you know, being a fan, being a fan for what you believe in. You know, right now I'm the most excited about XRP. It makes a lot of sense to me. Upgrading the world, upgrading the global functionality of money across borders. Very easy to understand at a base level. So, anyway, video's getting kind of long. I'll leave it there today. And I'll see you guys in the next one after work. Also, don't forget, you know, I know everyone knows how to use YouTube. But I actually forget myself when I start watching videos. I get into the video and I forget to hit all the buttons. So, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me some likes. I could use some more thumbs up, of course. And uh, leave a comment as well. It helps me learn and kind of directs me on what the channel should be because I don't know yet because I'm new. And uh, hit the bell for notifications so you're ready for the next video. So anyway, guys, have a good day. We'll see you in the next one.